Hello, my front porch friend. Well, Palmer and I are on the front porch today because it is a hot day in Alabama. Palmer's actually been in the creek cooling off, but he just wanted to drop in right quick and say a quick hello. And he'll probably go back out and take another swim for that matter. But I have something I just want to encourage your faith with. I was reading a book this morning by Watchman Nee called Prayer Ministry in the Church. Oh, this simple little statement just went through my spirit today for you and for me. And it just simply says this, pray big prayers, make big requests. He said, how can we approach this God that we approach, the God of such unlimited abundance and pray small prayers? You know, what are you believing for today? What are you asking God for today? There's no need to ever pray as though God were limited in his ability to meet your need, to heal your body, or to bring your prodigal home. When his word promises that he is the God to whom nothing, think about this, nothing is impossible. I was reading this morning in Mark uh, the book of Mark, where he says, he says, if you ask anything in my name, he says, in faith and in prayer, believing, you will receive it. I just love the fact that God, he didn't limit what we can ask him. He said we can ask him for anything and then have faith to believe it. You know what gives me faith? Of course, this, the Word of God is where our faith comes from. But it also gives me faith when I just meditate on the greatness, the unlimited resources, the unlimited power, the unlimited mercy, the unlimited ability, the unlimited provision of our God. I want to encourage you today as you're praying don't just pray small prayers. In fact, I want to show you somebody that's also here visiting with me. Look over here on the front porch, waiting for both of us. My mother is over here at my house today, and I just said, Mom, I want you to stay and ask and tell my front porch friends something that, in fact, she and I both were talking today about the power of God that answers prayer. And Mother it was telling me about something that she prayed some time ago, and I just loved this word of faith that she was sharing with me. And I said, Mom, I want you to share that with the Front Porch friends. Tell them what you were asking God for some time ago, Mom. Tell them. All right. Uh, a few months ago, I was praying and asking the Lord for a need that our ministry had in a building program, which was going to take several million dollars. But in my prayer, uh, innocently and ignorantly, I asked the Lord for one million dollars. I think I was probably putting him on an easy payment plan, <laughs> <laughs> like we do sometimes. And uh, anyway, the Bible tells us that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory, which is not something we have to consider in making That's it right. easy for him to take care of our needs. But anyway, shortly after I had prayed this prayer, asking the Lord for a million dollars, I heard this ministry giving a testimony about his need in his church and how God had supplied his need in a building program. And his need was 500 and something million, 500 and something million. And all of it had come in except like 17 million. And I quickly repented and I said, Lord, forgive me for asking for one when I could have had so much more. And I feel like so many times that our measure of faith is shown in by what we ask for and how much we ask for. And I also wonder what all is there out there that we don't have because we haven't asked for it. So I just think it's an encouraging thought today to realize that our God can supply every need that we have because we're going to ask for things that is his will. It's right. And in asking for what is his will, we just need to believe that he is able to do far more exceedingly and abundantly above that that we're asking for. Oh, I love that. that that's your favorite verse too, Ephesians 3.10. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that that we're able to ask or even think. 
And we can ask big and we can think big. Right? I can think big. But he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, even above that. And sometimes when I'm praying, I say, Lord, I'm asking for this, but your word tells me that you can do exceedingly abundantly above what I'm asking for. So I just say, Lord, I go ahead and ask for that too. I love that because in, as she was just sharing in, in Philippians 4, it says our God supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory. So right. he will supply our needs. Not with, you know, a reserve. I mean, he's got, he, in other words, he's only got so much for everybody. So, right. you know, you just need to ask your part. And I'm going to ask mine. And we're just hoping he's got enough for everybody. He said, according to his riches and glory. His riches and glory are unlimited, honey. That's right. So believe today. Right. There is nothing our God cannot do. If, if you, I love that, that, that we don't have to approach him timidly concerned as to whether or not he can meet the need. That's why in the book of Hebrews four, it says that we are to walk boldly before the throne of grace, that we can find help in our time of need. In other words, we don't walk, we don't walk to God timidly like now, Lord, you know, I'm just asking you today that you would just help us, God, help us. You know, I'm, we're just asking you if you can, Lord. In fact, one time in the word, a man asked Jesus, he said, Lord, if you will, you can help us. And Jesus' response was, if I can, if I will, well, you know what? Of course I will. Of course I can. And, and today, just encouraging your faith. To walk boldly and ask big. Amen. Walk boldly and ask in faith for whatever Amen. you need. If it's big, ask big. He cares about the little things too. But go ahead and just ask fully for everything. Dream, honey. Ask big of a big God. I'm going to show you something. Mother, I'll be right back. I'm going to go show them the spigot. I'll be right back. I've got this spigot over here by my house. I think one time I showed it to you before. I wish y'all could see Palmer, by the way. He's over here swimming in the creek, walking to the spigot with me. Can y'all see him? I'm gonna show you. Look over here first on the way to the spigot. I want y'all to look at Palmer. He is so funny. Here he comes. He's probably about to be baptized. Here comes Palmer. Can y'all see him swimming across the creek? I know that's not very spiritual, but he's just, he's just a constant sign and a wonder. <laughs> Come over here with me. I'm going to take you to the spigot because I believe it is a picture of what the Lord was showing me today. This spigot is, is out here by the side of my house at the old storm house my grandpa built years ago when we when I was a little girl and he used to lift up that lid when the storms were outside and it was bad and we'd all go down there where the crickets and spiders were but at least <laughs> you're just thankful they didn't take us instead of the tornado but the Lord protected us all anyway but outside this old storm cellar grandpa built us made a spigot now this spigot is connected to an artesian well in other words where at this this spigot the, the pipes that go down to this, from this spigot leads to an unlimited supply of water. In fact, this valley, every well we've ever dug turns to an artesian well. Every one of them. We've got four right here on my house, artesian wells. But this is one of them. And Grandpa capped it off with, with making this old spigot. And, and so I'm going to turn it on. And this spigot, that's gas, natural gas coming out. Now watch. I want you to see this. I want this today to represent the unlimited power of God that is coming from an unlimited supply of water because they tell us there's an ocean under our houses right here in this valley because of the water. So it just runs. If, if I left it on, it would run all the time. I'd never get a water bill, that's nice. But I, it would run all the time and it wouldn't even run dry. It just keeps running. That's like God's power. That's his, that is the supply of heaven. That's his unlimited resources for your financial needs. It's also his power to bring your prodigal home. 
It's his power to meet every need that you have. There's an unlimited supply of what he has for all of us. All we have to do is we turn it on by faith. So here it is. It's there whether I've got it on or off, okay? It's there no matter if the spigot's on or the water's still there. But our faith begins to turn it, turn this water on and release it. That's my faith. That's your faith right there. We're going to turn it on with our faith. What is that? Believing his word. Believing the water's there. I believe water is down there. That's why I know I'm going to turn it on. If I didn't believe there was water down there, I wouldn't bother turning this on. But because I know there's water underneath this spigot and the spigot, the pipe is connected to that supply. That's my faith. I know that there is water under this spigot right here. That's my faith. My faith is knowing it. My faith turns it on. But now that I've got the supply flowing, I know I'm connected to an unlimited resource. Now, here's my prayers. My prayers look like this. I can, I can, this is what a lot of our prayers look like. We pray with prayers about like this. Lord, just meet my need, God. Just, Lord, Lord, we just need a, Lord, I don't know. I just pray that, oh, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for, thank you for answering that prayer. Lord, thank you, thank you, God. And, you know, I mean, I'm thankful for the answers, little prayers. But, honey, don't stop there. Your prayers, your faith is it, right here. This is, what are you using for this supply today? Are you asking for little bitty things? Sometimes it maybe it's not that. Maybe we're just using something about like this. You know, oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, got a, got a, got a, better, got a better answer right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for my prayer answered right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your living water. Thank you for my answered prayer. Maybe you got it measured like that. But why pray like this? And why pray even like this? Honey, when we can pray like this. Honey, come on. This is a big old bucket. And I could get a bigger one, but I couldn't hold it. So I'm just going to say, Lord, today, honey, this thing's heavy. It's an old well bucket. Oh, come on, honey. I want your prayers to be like this. I need some answers that's heavy. I need some answers from God that's big. I need some stuff from God that's impossible. Come on. You know what I want to do? What you and me are going to do? We're going to put our buckets down like this. And Lord, today we're believing you to answer prayer that's big. God, we're needing the stuff answered that's unlimited. Come on. Today, our need... It looks impossible, God, for us to... In fact, when this, when this gets full, I'm not even going to be able to lift it. It's going to be impossible. But you know what? God is a God that can do anything. He's going to answer our prayers just like this water pouring in to this bucket that's more than enough. In fact, when the bucket gets full, I'm not even going to quit then. I'm going to let the water just keep flowing and keep flowing and keep flowing until it runs over. Come on, that's how we need to pray. That's how I'm encouraging you to pray today. Pray. Pray in faith. Pray believing that there's enough to meet every need you have. In fact, I'm just going to leave that running so this bucket is completely overflowing. And I declare today, this is the answered prayer for your family. This represents answered prayer for your home, for your finances, for your health, and for your marriage. God, I pray today for my front porch friend that you will encourage her today in her faith. I pray today, Lord, that her prayers will not be limited, will not be small when we consider how great you are. Our faith, God, is in you. Our faith is connected to knowing that your supply is unlimited. Your reserves are unlimited. Your power is unlimited. So today, my front porch friend and I, we walk boldly into your throne room to find grace to help in the time of need. Lord, we're not going to ask a small thing of a God that is so great. As though you do not have the ability. Lord, you can do anything. So I'm asking you to heal her body. I'm asking you to go get the prodigal and awaken them today. Shake them, God. Even when it looks more impossible than ever. Go get them today, God. Let them run into the wall of your mercy and truth in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray today for my front porch friend.
restoration of her body and her marriage in the name of Jesus, healing from COVID, healing in their body. But there's nothing impossible to you. We give you glory and praise that we know who you are. We give you glory and praise that you love us and we love you and we live for you. And Jesus, be glorified in every answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, my sweet friend, would you just message me below? Comment and let me just hear from you. I would just love to hear what God is saying to you today and what prayer needs you have. You matter to me. And most of all, you matter to God. I will talk to you again next week. But until then, keep praying, keep asking, and ask big. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.